Today I'm back with a new game off the Wax blockchain called Wrath of Tezka. I've been playing it and I'm really enjoying it, so I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. We're going to do a bunch of stuff, go over everything, what's currently out, what's coming. Going to open up some chests. You know I love to do that. Hopefully get some legendary soldiers. We'll see how that works. And I'm just going to explain everything, how it works. I like this game and it's a turn-based game, so kind of like Civilization, if you will. The artwork kind of reminds me of World of Warcraft, the uh, horde, so maybe you'll get that out of it as well. Let's go ahead and jump in and kind of give you an idea. So that's a quick look at what's currently going on with Wrath of Tezka and some of the future plans as well. We're going to log in and show you some gameplay, so make sure you stay tuned for the whole video and open some chests. We're going to do that in a moment. I want to say a few things about the project real quick. First, the Discord is great. The link is down below. They are active. They answer your questions. It's not always easy to get good help on a Discord server for games. This one, check. So check that out. The website is there as well. You can earn tokens as you play, but it is not free to play. You do need to have NFTs to play. You need at least one champion or soldier, and from my understanding, one weapon. With those two things, you'll be able to get going, and in the future, the stuff you get, you will be able to craft more items. Crafting and land sales are coming in January 2022. I'm really hoping to get some land. If you are hoping for me to do a video about land, make sure you smack that like and comment down below land, and I will try my hardest because land is going to be pretty awesome in this. You're going to be able to upgrade your land as well and change different variables. It's very in-depth. This game can be very numbers driven, but it doesn't have to be. If you want to get into that aspect, great. If not, basically the better rarity, the better you'll do. With that said, let's go ahead and open some packs. So I am on Atomic Hub here, and that's where my packs are. I want to thank you to Wrath of Tesco for going through and sponsoring this and sending the packs. Here they are. Let's go ahead and just change this here. I have some of my own stuff. I have opened a common chest as well and purchase some things, but I don't have anything crazy. So today we're gonna open two common chests and one epic chest. So we have some good stats and possibly a great chance to get something really nice here. So let's look at the common chest first and open them up. Here we're looking at common 65% of the time, rare 30, epic four, and then that legendary 1%. There is going to be nine cards in all, one soldier and eight equipment. Now, legendaries is where you want it, but what you really want is a legendary soldier. So you only get one soldier in this chest, and that's where the rarity really matters. All right, so now let's go ahead and open these up and see what we got. Just a quick note, if you are going to play this and you do purchase a chest, make sure you open it because it won't register until after you unpack this. So to unpack, you just click it and choose unpack. These are not available to purchase from the game, but they are available to purchase on secondary markets like Atomic Hub. Let's go ahead and choose Unbox and see what we get. We're going to go ahead and approve this transaction and click the chest to reveal your cards. All right, here we go. Got to sign it again. This is on the Wax Network. So at the end of this video, I'll have another video showing you how to set up the Wax Network if you're interested in this game and you don't have the wax network already oh let's go legendary come on good soldier good soldier <laughs> here we go back one i love loot boxes <laughs> and 
see some rares, some or commons. I didn't see the soldier. Maybe I missed it. Um, so this is a common, 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 rare, common, common, common. Ah, good, rare. We got a rare soldier, so that's good. Oof, if anything we want, we want those. And then uh, uh, another rare. Nice. So that is a common chest. We got one more common chest. And then we have the epic chest, which I'm really stoked for. But let's go ahead. We're, we're already ahead of the game. We got a rare. Let's do this again. Here we go. We're going to get our first epic soldier. That legendary. I'll take it. <laughs> Come on. You know you want to. We got... Okay, there was some rares first, and then common. So we got common, common, common boots, common weapon. That sword looks pretty awesome, or whatever that is. I think those are gloves, yep. And then we got a rare helmet, rare gloves. Yeah, we got another rare hero. That's good for common chests. Rare heroes are good. And then we have rare armor of intelligence. All right, here it is. This is a big one. These chests have been pretty decent so far. Most games, I'm just not good with chests. Let's hope that changes right now. <laughs> All right, we got a different kind of chest here. The epic chest. Come on. There's two soldiers in this, 16 cards, 18 cards all together. And the odds are up. I don't see a soldier. Oh, common. I guess I'll legendary something. Ah, uh, rare. Man, we cannot get that epic or legendary. Oh, so we got a rare uh, soldier. I think we have three of this one. I'm not sure if I believe it is. Uh, common. This is a rare. Common. Legendary. Eagle's shoulders of stamina. Pretty cool. Rare. Common. <laughs> rare. Common. Rare. Common. 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 This is rare. Ooh, we got something else shiny back there yet. Rare. Alright, this is epic. I believe this is epic. Yeah, because I think it's blue if it's legendary here, so I'm pretty sure this is epic. And then rare. Let's get an idea. So this character, wow, sells for 90? No, that can't be right. Wow. 34 here, we got some commons here. So just get a quick look. Uh, we didn't get any mythicals because you can only get mythicals in mythical chests. We didn't have one of those. Uh, legendary, we got one, which is the shoulders. Epic, we got one. Rare, we got a good amount of rare. Some of the stuff I've bought, so you might see that because I have uh, another squad as well. I purchased this one here. Wow, it's the prices are starting to go up on these, so that's how they go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into the game and show some gameplay. So now we're in here, we're going to log in with our wallet. And you have the barracks and the missions here. The barracks is where you're going to equip your squad, and missions is where you're going to send your squad out. Currently, the missions are instant, but later on it's going to be that 3D model turn base once the game is developed a little further along. You earn 
Tezcoin by doing the missions, and then you can earn one of these three here, which are crafting materials, which is coming next. So you choose which one you want with the land that is offered to you. I'm going to show you all that, but first, let's go ahead and get equipped in the barracks. All right, we got one, two, three, four. That's pretty good. So I guess this one. Yeah, this one is the one that goes for the most. So maybe this is the best one. I don't know. Let's go ahead and look at sort by rarity here. And what this person is best at is intelligence. So from my understanding is you want to go more intelligent based if you can. And I know there's a intelligence epic here. So we'll put that on there. These are stamina. I don't think we're going to use those. Willpower is magic resistance. And speed. Let's see what else we got. Stamina. Seeing if there's anything else. Intelligence. Toughness is like uh, defense from my understanding. All right, we got some gloves of intelligence. Shoulders of intelligence. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and equip these and get them going. We got another shoulders of intelligence. We have to give them weapons too. So opening the crates that I did is enough to definitely go ahead and equip four characters. Because one common chest is enough to, you'll get one character, you'll get all six slots, and then you'll have two extra. Acts of speed, strength. Hmm, I don't know what weapon to give here. I'm guessing willpower might be the best. I don't know. Maybe people could correct me <laughs> if they know more about the stats. Let's go ahead and throw these in here and just get this going. All right, I'm going to go through and equip the rest of these now. We're going to do the common last. He's going to get the leftover stuff. This one is speed and toughness, and so is this one. They're basically the same. Now, later on, I might want to switch out my team and try to balance it, have a little bit of everything in a team. And I think that does best. So this is stamina. And he's more toughness. So let's look for toughness here. We're going to go speed here. Speed is like recovery and how fast things happen. So now we just click the X. It'll come up and say, would you like to save your changes or discard them? Hit confirm for save. It's going to approve. Approve. Now we got our team ready to go and we got two charges. You get a new charge every 12 hours. So what we're going to do, the ones in red are the ones that I've currently used and they have zero charges. You can see there. So what we're going to do is just choose our new team that we created. And you can have as many squads as you want. You just need to have the characters. I'm going to send them on a mission and we're going to get some Tez coin. So let's go ahead and get ready. These soldiers will be locked into carrying out a mission unless you later pay to withdraw them. Are you sure? Yeah, it's a quick mission. It's pretty instant. That may be something more when it's a 3D model. Or we'll hit confirm. I'm going to choose approve. And now it's going to show us our stats at the top and how we're doing. It looks like they don't have hover over stats, unfortunately, yet. I'm guessing this will be in the future. I believe this is int the blue. Because I feel like we had a lot of intelligence. So if we look here, I believe it's strength, toughness, intelligence, willpower, speed, and stamina. I believe you want to try to balance this the best you can. I've done my best so far, still new, so we'll see how it goes. And then we choose which land we want. Now there's gonna be different crafting materials. This is like bones, bones, and hearts, I believe. So from my understanding, I believe bones are the easiest to get, and I believe the essences are the hardest. So I think this would be the one to go. You're not gonna get as many coins, and it's gonna be harder. We did get three epic lands, which is nice. So I think we're gonna choose this one. You can spend some has coin and refresh and get three new lands but i mean we got three epic so this is pretty good these are the lands that you're going to be able to purchase coming up from my understanding which is why i'm so excited because it's pretty cool the mission fee will probably be the fee that you set i'm guessing and you could probably change stats on them however you'd like so let's go ahead and confirm this 
Are your four soldiers ready for an instant mission? Yes, we are. Let's do this. Now, I've done it with my other group, but my other group has one rare and three common characters, and they're not fully geared. So I'm not sure what the rewards are going to look like, but I'm sure they're going to be much better because this is the next level up. Oh, yeah, 50 coin. I was getting like six or seven, I think, in the beginning. So this is great. Nice 50 Tez coin and 25 Heartwood. That's We only had 10 total, so that's great. Then we go and confirm. It's updating. And now we're good. Now, if we go back to the barracks, we can see this circle here. This means one. There's one charge remaining. When it says zero, that means you can't play anymore. And it shows when it's going to be ready for the next charge. Each time this time elapses, a charge is added that you can play. So at the moment, I believe it's every 12 hours, your team gets a charge. You can play twice a day, you know, in the morning and at night, or just do both of them at once at night, and that'd, be, that'd work out. Now, right now, these are instant missions, but later on, it's going to be different because it's going to be turn-based. So with the turn base, you'll load into one of those 3D maps I mentioned, and with those 3D maps, you'll be able to control your characters and do what you need to. All the worlds are going to be procedurally created and they're going to be always different same with the mobs so no one's pretty much ever going to get the same experience there's going to be different obstacles you can do like it might be kill this many enemies it might say last five rounds you know things like this and i'm really excited for this let's go ahead and do another mission because we can and we're gonna go back into missions we're gonna add them again And you can sort by this as well and try to balance them out. When all my characters are ready in two hours, then maybe I can kind of balance them a little better. We're going to choose ready and confirm. So these coins are associated to different lands, not the rarity. We'll go ahead and choose here and we're going to go ahead and confirm because I want those essences because they don't pop up much. Confirm. Let's go, big money, big money. Seven, nice, we got a good amount, 40 coins added onto the pile. So this is gonna be used to craft gear and weapons in the future. So you'll be able to continue to outfit your squads as you go. So they do have some social media, like I mentioned, Discord and websites down below. They also do have a Twitter, so you could check that out. This is their white paper. It is downloadable through their Discord server. So you can check that out. I'll just go through and hit a few key facts real quick. Basically, you know, it's all NFT based. You have the soldier and the equipment and the equipment gets put onto the soldier. And they have some numbers with what's available in each chest. Uh, the mythic, like I said, has mythics, chances of mythics, but mythics are going to be pretty rare. And then it shows the power of the soldiers. A common is 100%, rare 150, epic 180. Legendary 200 and Mythic 210. Plus, your actual hero is 50% more powerful than the equipment it uses. And here's just more information and the six types of lands that are available. Mystic Clearing is the one that had the essences. And here, Magic Essence on Mystic Clearing, Runes for the Bone Shards and Mountains. And then Jungle Plains, River Valleys have the Heartwood. And all this stuff is still being calculated, you know, as we're going through, but it seems pretty, pretty solid right now. Here's a redistribution for the fees. Basically, 85% is added back to the pool, 10% is burned, 3% goes to a community pot, and 2% goes to the devs. That's a really low dev fee. So that's nice that they're doing that. And here is the relative power versus setup. You know, you have your commons, you can see your rare goes up, your epic really goes up, and then full legendary is just off the charts. Yeah, I wish we would have got an epic or legendary. Maybe next time. <laughs> and there is some RNG related to it, and this just kind of shows some of the RNG, what the numbers are. More information is available at the link, and if you need to purchase the token, you could go to Alcor and trade it for a wax. Again, you will need to have a wax wallet. I'll put that video here at the end here so you can set that up 
and just go to the link down below. You will need to go to Atomic Hub and just find a hero and weapon to start and you should be all set. I really enjoy the game. I hope you do too. Like I said, the community is really great. If you have any questions, join the Discord. I'll be there and so will the team and we'll help you out. And as always, thank you for the view.